Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are going to do an unboxing of Musket and Pike, the Dual Pack. This is a combined reprint of The Accursed Civil War and Sweden Fights On, which have been out of print for quite a while. Uh, includes 11 battles from the Thirty Years' War and the First English Civil War, designed by Ben Hall from GMT Games. It's uh, medium solitaire suitability. Um, and the complexity is listed as also medium. So uh, let's crack it open and see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this comes, as you might have seen, in one of GMT's larger three inch boxes. It's very heavy, a lot of content in here. All right, so there we go. And this one starts with the playbook, and this has, let's see how this works here. Well, no, this is the Curse of War playbook. So they're still treating them, it's a dual pack, it's two games in one, but you know, they're gonna treat it differently. So this one contains the, uh, this is the introduction, general information on the counters, and then the, the scenarios, as well as the designer's notes for this game. And then we've obviously got the uh, Sweden Fights On playbook here as well, but let's take a look at this one first. This is in the now normal, again, uh, GMT matte finish. It comes in at 52 pages. And it is, as usual, full color. Got some nice artwork here, uh, as appropriate. Here for Kruperty Bridge from June 29th, uh, or June 19th, 1644. Uh, it's a nice historic artwork where appropriate. That's very cool. Uh, explains how everything's set up so on and so forth for your different missions. I'm assuming there's going to be a rule book here. Uh, this is just the playbook, the playbook, and then there's going to be a sister rule book. We'll see in just a second. That would be my guess. All right, so we have the Cursed Civil War playbook, 52 pages. Sweden Fights On playbook. This is a little thinner. This is only 40 pages. Again, also, it has the, um, the introduction information about the counters and then the scenarios um, as well. Well, the scenarios here, there's four scenarios for this and the historic and designer's notes. So this is 1642 to 1645. This is also 1634 to 1645. Now we have the musket and pike battle series rules. Now this is obviously the system rule book that you're gonna to wanna to refer to for both games. And this is a little smaller, it comes only at 32 pages, the back page being a uh, sequence of play and uh, combat procedure summary um, reprint of the rules. It's kind of cool to have there. And then, that's a Marotta here. Not sure what that's about, we'll see. But it too is full color and starts off with uh, well, it says a complete game of Musket and Pike Dual Pack consists of six counter sheets, four 22 by 34 pack printed maps, one 22 by 34 single sided map, two identical charts and tables, six back printed 8.5 by 11 battle cards, one back printed 8.5 by 11 player 8 card, two. The rule book, the two playbooks, two 10 sided dice, one red, one blue, plastic storage bags, and a box. So we go from the uh, discussion on the playing pieces to the sequence of play. Does this one have an index? Yeah, here we go. Um, I don't see anything for uh, that would indicate that uh, you know option rules like or advanced rules come out of that. So it's pretty much this is a full rule book at 32 pages because determining victory is on page 28. A lot of samples of play though. With. Uh, a lot of samples of play with graphics, as, as GMT is really good at producing rule books, so on and so forth. So, there you go. We have a rule book. So yeah, it doesn't look like any, any optional rules fall in. We do have, like I said, that errata. Um, and since this is the uh, Musket and Pike rule book, I'm thinking this errata may or may not apply to the scenarios here. This is just when this rulebook got updated with another game in the series. 
Under the Lily Banners, Gustav Adolf the Great. So. I am not seeing those battles listed here, so. All right, anyway, the aforementioned player aid cards. We should have two identical ones of those. They are double-sized, full color. And they're nice GMT thick cardstock, coated cardstock. Two of those. Get your orders and activation tables, fire tables, terrain effects charts, close combat tables. Then we have one copy of the player aid card two. And this is for reference, I guess, during play, so you don't have to go to the rule book as much. Interception table, movement allowance chart. Artillery fire, artillery range, reaction interception, order summary, and determining victory summary here. And then we have our scenario sheets. For each of the scenarios. Nordlingen, Wittstock. Gen Cow, scenarios one and three. Gen Cow, scenario two. And we have Edge Hill. First Newberry. Cheraton. It's nice here because it gives you the uh, commanders for either side. A little historical reference. Special rules for the scenario are listed here as well. Victory conditions. In a place to put eliminated units, units in pursuit, wings. Crepredi Bridge, Cheriton, Marston Moor, Second Newbury, Naseby, Second Brightenfell. This obviously goes with the other set here. Blue background. All right, now we're going to go into our counter sheets. I believe we said we had six, and we do in fact have six. These are half-inch counters. It's very small. It's your different formations, your different uh, nations, so on and so forth. So they are going to need to be punched, probably cut out of the sprue, and then uh, rounded with an organ laminations. 2.5 millimeter quarter rounder. If, if you're only ever playing half inch counters, you can use the 2.0 millimeter. But if you just get one, get the 2.5 because it covers everything from half inch up. Free tip there. All right, so counter sheet one. Counter sheet two. Three. Now we got some double wides here. Or some formations. As well as some markers. Make ready, charge. Uh, some strength points here. Morale shaken, formation broken. Counter sheet three. Counter sheet four. Got some miscellaneous additional markers thrown in here where space permitted. Standard, great GM, GMT quality though, you know, the multi-layered uh, cardstock. These look really well centered, registered, which is kind of important on a half inch counter because don't have a lot of margin for error there. Sheet five, right here. Open order markers, some more formations here. Sheet six. A lot of markers on sheet six. In fact, only markers on sheet six. Disabled, morale shaken, limbered guns, open order. First pistol used, interception done. Momentum on the opposite of that. Six sheets counters. And we got the aforementioned maps. Now these. These are not 
they are not paper. I mean, they are paper, but they're textured paper. So they're probably gonna be a lot more durable. Normally I'm a, I am a mounted map guy. I do not like paper maps. I don't like full with plexiglass when at all possible, but these seem like they're gonna be really durable. They're a very thick, they're uh, linen finish, very durable. You almost feel like an old map, for real. Um, we're not going to open all of these. We'll get just uh, kind of a peek at the various, at the uh, design. I do like the design of this. The uh, graphic design is very, um, not the late Rick Barber's design, but kind of feels that way. Like, like you're really looking at an old map. I mean, it's just got a very nice muted kind of, um, uh, motif to it. Um, very nice. Very cool. Very, very cool. So open this one. Oh, so this has actually got this one map. It's interesting. It has two different battles on it. So I'm going to open this one up. Marston Moore is a full sheet map. And so the whole 22 by 34 is the Marston Moore battle. But then, when you flip it over, we got two maps, two half sheet maps. So we have the first Newberry map and the Edge Hill map. And unfortunately, the fold, and you can see this or not, the fold is just not between the two. It's like this one got one extra hex than this one got. So you can't just like fold the map and say, look, I'm only playing with a half map. This is great and easy to use. So anyway, you still have the, you could maybe make your own fold and you start getting kind of hinky, but, um, but anyway, they, uh, I like the, I like the artwork. I like the design. I like the, uh, the raised areas are very clear for these battlefields, which were mostly flat fields, you know, with some terrain. Um, but that's neat. And the, the paper quality is very nice. It's almost like a coated paper. It doesn't feel like this is going to tear just from just from use. So, like it says, you get all these different map sheets. You get five. You get four back printed and one single sided, which covers all <clears throat> which covers all the battles in the game. And then you get the bag of bags, GMT is famous for, as well as two ten sided dice, one red and one blue as promised and that's a 10 I'll say so blue wins 10 to 4. Good buddy. If you pick up a copy of Musket and Pike dual pack from GNT Games you are going to get the two dice we mentioned the bag of bags it's really nice big box that everything fits into of course if you use a GMT tray for the counters you're probably gonna lose this insert. You're gonna get the five map sheets Four double-sided, one single-sided, and very nice, very nice map sheets. I mean, if if you want this and you're worried about mounted maps, these are pretty good. So I like those. Uh, and then six six sheets of counters, the scenario tracking cards for each of the scenarios, the player aid card number two, one copy of that. And then two copies of the double width player aid card that are identical. You're going to get the Musket and Pike Battle Series Rules version 7.0, the Sweden Fights On playbook, and this Accursed Civil War playbook. And that is everything that comes in this nice, big, heavy, beautifully made box of Musket and Pike Dual Pack designed by Ben Hall produced by GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!